And then she told me, go back to your country. And I said, I will never go back to my country. You need to get used to me because I love Malta. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Hello guys, jena dora unin akoma l-aħar episodju ta' sensiela ta' ħlita perfetta. Vudin s-sensiela mux bistilt ajna ma' personi baranin li jajxu f-Malta u kenna flimkin izda t-kellim na dwar festi tradizjonali ta' xom. Illu um nil-sabu f-ta' slima. U sen il-taqaw ma' drissa. Drissa li juwa min Mali. Hello drissa, how are you? Thank you. Who are you? I am great. I'm so happy to meet you. <laughs> I'm so happy to have you here. So, Drissa, tell us a bit where do you come from? Well, I came from Mali. Yes. It's part of West Africa. Right. And I can say that it's the uh, second biggest country in West Africa. Really? Yeah, it's very big. And you are wearing a typical... Exact so time. <laughs> this is uh, a traditional clothes from Mali. Yes. Honestly, I don't wear it every day. As today, it's a mauld. It's mauld. It's a big day for us Malians, and right. that's a good opportunity and occasion for me to wear it here, wherever I am in the world, and I feel comfortable when I'm wearing it. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, how long have you been in Malta for? Ah, uh, well, uh, three years and uh, one month, I think so. Wow. Yeah. You must like it. You've been here for of a while. Of course, Enough if to not, like I it. will live. Man, I like it. That's why I'm still here. And how many how many languages do you speak? So, um, I speak two languages from Mali because we have a lot, a lot of languages there in Mali. Right. A lot, and I speak Bambara because mm -hmm. I'm origin Bambara. Wow. Okay. And uh, I speak a little bit. Koroboro. Koroboro. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and I speak French also. Wonderful. And English, of course. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, we're understanding each other perfectly. Yeah, I mean, I don't consider myself as a good speaker in English, you know, because when I came... But you are. No, I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you prepared for us today? And I uh, prepared something that we call in Bambara show. So it's the same, we call them boats show. This okay. is like, uh, this is part of this, you know what I mean? Oh, wonderful. So here we have a saw, which we call in English bean. Yes. And this is the soup for it. I have, as you can see, I have some carrot too. Yes, and carrot too? You're saying it in most things. So that's, that's beef? Right? Exactly, that's beef and uh, eggs, yes. onions, black pepper and mustard. Oh my God, and this smells oil. so good. <laughs> it smells lovely. This food, it's... Uh, something that we don't cook every day. Okay, all right, for so it's for a special occasion. Exactly, like for today, mauled. Right. And uh, as you know, I don't know if you never heard about mauled, it's uh, a day that uh, the Prophet, most for Muslim people, right. um, celebrate it. You know? Right. And it's a day that our Prophet Muhammad right. was, bor uh, was born. Right. And it's a really big day for us and uh, we cook this kind of food because for us, if we want to do a charity in my country, in Mali, right. this is the best food to do it. That's and amazing. Exactly. And that day, it's a good day for Muslim people. They did charity to right. each other. Right. I mean, the family who has uh, a lot of money and yeah. uh, who have a, a, sta exactly, a stable home. Share. Exactly. That's so beautiful. We cook, we brought some food to mosque. We, I mean, it, it, we give money, everything to each other. That's and lovely. it's a, a day like everyone can be happy, even yeah. you have money or not. So. Mmm. Mmm. This is so tasty. Let me. I can taste the meat in it a lot. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so lovely. There is green peppers as well. Yes, it mm. is on, yeah. Okay, and the tomatoes are raw. So mm. onions. Mm. Eggs. <laughs> lovely. Mm. I want the recipe. Of course I, I will want give the it recipe. I will give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Maltese food. Have you ever tried any street food like pastetti? It's so delicious, oh my goodness. <laughs> they are delicious. It is, yeah. Do you know any Maltese words? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. I love uh, albi. Albi. <laughs> albi? Albi poop. I have too many Maltese friends. At each time I met them, I said, hi, Albi. Oh, <laughs> that's beautiful. And you can, you can, you have a nice accent in Maltese. So. Really? Yes. Vera? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
love it. <laughs> How about you teach me something in your language? We said good morning like Ansoroma. Ansoroma. Exact. Wow. Oh, you did it right. Very well. Ansoroma. Cheers, cheers. Ansoroma. So what do you do in Malta? Actually, I'm working as a shop supervisor, and I really do love my job also, you know. That's amazing to hear. What is the best experience you have had in Malta and the worst? The last time was in Golden Bay. It's where I met my current partner. So. Right. That's a very good experience, exactly. right? Exactly. So that's... <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a bad experience you might have gone through. There was an old woman and she get on she get in on, on the bus and uh, we were like five or six persons on the on bus, the bus. Yeah. and she came to me, she said, get up, I want to sit here. And I told her, listen ma'am, there is empty seat here. She said, no, I want this one. And then she told me, go back to your country. And I said, I will never go back to my country. You need to get used to me because I love Malta. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> When I arrived here in Malta, it was not easy. I didn't feel like rejected. I also didn't feel like uh, welcoming because for me it was because of the language. Yeah. And then it's uh, a barrier. Exactly. And then I told my I told to myself if you want to integrate, you need first to find a way to understand them so they can also understand you. Yeah. So I went to English language school. I study English there. To trying to improve my English so mm -hmm. I can try to integrate and also I take classes of uh, I belong programs okay. to learn about uh, Malta history. Good. If you go somewhere which is not sure you need to try to understand them, their culture. It's always it's always a positive thing when you're learning about the place you're living in. We call it Dege, this um, Nyo. Nyo? <laughs> yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It smells good, it smells like strawberry. It's like it's like a seed. You can you can tell it's a seed. It's slightly chewy when when you put it in your mouth. Exact. Um, but it tastes like strawberry and it's very sweet. And I love it. <laughs> Thank you. We are very welcome. What do you miss most about home? And yeah. it's there that I can I have friends. If I said I have friends here in Malta, but a very good friend that we grow up together yeah. so we know about everything about each other so it's home would you say it's hard finding a job in malta being foreign for myself it was not hard to yeah. find a job it was not bad uh, to find a job in malta is not it's easy but as a black person it's not easy at all you know right. it's not easy to find a black people work uh, working in an office or uh, in a shop or a restaurant they are always doing uh, like uh, dishwashing, yeah. collecting garbage, yeah. and most of those people they have studied in Africa, they have diploma, they can manage. I mean, a company, yeah. a big, very big company. They have very good skills, and it's not about the stitches, it's not about your colors. It should be about your skills. Yeah. It should be about your experience. It should be about what you can do. Being black is not a choice, you know what I mean? Yeah. That all of, to solve all of this, it's, we need communication. Yes, communication, need... education, and integration like this. You have invited me into your home today. Exactly. I have tried your food. We all eat, don't we? I have tried different food. I got to learn about you, about exactly. your culture. Exactly. And this is exactly, exactly how we combat exactly. That's racism. That's what, that's what we need. Thank you, Drissa. You're me. very welcome. Lumkin lahar episode you ta tahlita perfetta tim esensila ta tahlita perfetta it aina madrisa niwa min mali nita maoli a job kam dan el program u iak tishti oli kol na esensila hara halu na comment ayo ne bnu sochieta ilit hadan el diferenza u ti celebra da keli a adna Malta iya diversa u inclusiva u fil komunitatana kulhat iya partieni.